It's 28 past 11. This is day two on keto, ketone diet, ketones, ketosis, 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 that's the word. This is my second full day of the diet. Intermittent fasting along with ketosis and exercise. What I did this morning was wake up, not eat a thing, went for a 20 minute walk. So from here to the end of the beach and back, it took me 20 minutes. I didn't eat until another maybe half an hour after. And uh, so that was about probably close to 10 when I ate. And I ate, doesn't didn't feel right. I ate like about three or four rash, rashes of bacon and two fried eggs. Now I did prepare a lot of breakfast so that I don't have to go through the cooking process every morning. I cooked off all the bacon. I cooked off a bunch of eggs and put them in the fridge. And that's something that I want to address and maybe get some better options for because I don't want to be cooking all that crap all the time. Like the whole idea for me is breakfast is just a quick ass meal, put some wheat bix in a bowl, splash some milk on it, shove it down your gob, have a cup of coffee or tea and then do a poo. Now with this keto diet, sorry, I had a cup of tea as well this morning, no milk, no sugar, just black tea. But what I don't like about it, I don't want to be cooking all that much. That's what I'm trying to get at. I don't want to be sitting at the kitchen cooking all this food. So there has to be carb-free carb free shakes, like smoothies, right, that are keto-friendly. Um, I know that blueberries and strawberries, you forgot blueberries. <laughs> I know that they're good on keto. And I also know that um, milk is out, but that's what's confusing me. What do I do instead of milk? And I don't want to be doing almond milk. I don't want to spend $20,000 for a tiny little tub of almond milk. Um, so what are the options? Is it just water? Water and strawberries. And I can put cream in it, can't I? I can, I can use cream because that's low in carbs. Shh, I'm doing my daily vlog. By the way, uh, after that, sorry, um, that was breakfast. Then I went through, I had an early dinner at about 4.30 and I had a pork chop with cheese on top and an egg on top, a fried egg. And again, it doesn't feel right to be eating that kind of food. It doesn't feel like the dietary way to lose weight. But I do feel kind of, strangely enough, I feel kind of sated. Like I don't feel hungry and I feel kind of clear in my head. It's a very strange feeling and I'm only two days in. I've drank an absolute shit ton of water. I've been peeing like a fountain, but so far so good. So far so good. I walked from here to town uh, again. I did two walks, and tomorrow I plan on doing a 6k run. So yeah, I know I'm not doing a full everyday update on the keto, but I thought that was a good. I thought that was an important day to address the breakfast issue. I've got enough breakfasts for the next three days, but then I think I'm going to move just to shakes, smoothies, if you like, um, liquid diet. I think that's what the that's what the vegans call it. Just spat everywhere. Yeah, and uh, well, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to do it for all of September, but I am going to break it in the middle. I have to to do this review. Other than that, it's keto away. That's sitting right there, actually, old Jackie. Oh, man. The other thing I was going to talk to you about, the NBN updates. I forgot it. We went to an NBN meeting tonight. And um, let's just say 